This is the Beacock Music Center Homeschool Orchestra. Give them a round of applause. So, the Preacher Espanol by Rimsky Korsakov. Thank you. 
had a great year. Every year is different. And some of the same kids come back. We get some new kids come in. Everyone does uh, something unique and uh, makes a unique contribution. And uh, all of this would be impossible, though I can't do it myself. I'm so disorganized. <laughs> you haven't figured that out yet. So at some point, a, a helper came to me out of an angel, I think, descended and heard my prayers. And um, this is a person who is always here. I can never beat her here. <laughs> and even when I try, I'm like, I, I beat Irene, I beat Irene. And she, oh, I was just in the other room fixing something. Like, oh, she beats me every time. I can't do it. She shows up. She's had a, a hip replacement. If you don't mind my saying, like, just, just a knees, a shoulder. I come here when she has a sling on, and in one arm, she's setting up the room. Oh, I just thought I would do it. You know, I can do it. It's easy. It doesn't bother me. I, I need to get on. I need like one arm. She's going around setting up the room. And she comes in and she's, uh, she brings the candy. Because <laughs> we bribed the kids a little bit. <laughs> so she brings the candy and the treats. And, uh, and she brings uh, just a tremendous amount of love and, and uh, sympathy and, uh, and talent, too. She sits in and she plays. She practices the music very diligently. And there's a big support to me, so, uh, you know, I just, uh, I, I can't say enough about this wonderful lady, Irene Melton. No. to do something that made a difference and it was fun. And when I started studying with Daryl, I walked in the first day and said, you are number one on my bucket list. You're going to teach me to play the violin. Bring it to <laughs> so I studied with him for a little bit and then he asked me, would you help me with the orchestra? And it was just like a gift had been given to me. It was exactly what I was looking for. Wednesdays, I look forward to them every week. Both Daryl and I do. We love the kids. We enjoy doing this. And as I've always said, too, I wish I had Daryl as a young girl for a teacher because he brings joy. He is so gifted. If any of you have a chance to go to Sinfonietta, he's the concert master of the Sinfonietta. Wonderful violinist. And I just feel so blessed to be here with him and the children throughout the year. And it's like I said, it's a gift to me. So. And Daryl, this is for you from all of us. No, no, thank you. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Again, it's my pleasure to teach it. It doesn't feel like uh, uh, a labor at all. I mean, it's, uh, it's just such fun. I love. Uh, you see when uh, a, a person picks up a violin and they play Mary Had a Little Lamb for the first time, they figure out they can do that. And then, of course, they instantly they want to play the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else, they're like, no, you need to learn this first. No, I want to play. And they want to play all their movie themes. But it's great. So I just love it. It never gets old. So uh, a few words I can say about members of the orchestra today. Also, I have a, another guest. He's our, our, my youngest intern. Um, so we were missing a couple of violins for this concert, couldn't be here, so we were a little short-handed, so to speak. And so uh, I asked uh, one of my private students to come in and play, and he is doing a fabulous job. He's a fantastic young man and an excellent player, and you got to play hooky a little bit too, too today, right, to come in and join us. So this is Theo Faber. Never gives up. 
She's got a great attitude and has hidden reserves of talent she has yet to explore. It's been wonderful having you, Mr. Creed, the, the warrior, the silent, stoic <laughs> champion, Mr. Faithful, Mr. Consistency, Mr. Stick to it again, right? You go far in, in life, always sticking to it, right? Miss Alicia, the switchover. She switched from violin to cello, and she's done a tremendous job. Always prepared. I go over and look at her parts. She's marked every note. She's, she's done an excellent job. This first year playing cello all the way. She practices. She loves music. She does an outstanding job. All right. Nathan, my other cello. Also, first year playing cello. So he's somewhat, he's somewhat of a, of a genius, I think. He just picked it up. And this is, <laughs> dives right in. And, you know, after, you know, so one day he comes in. He's a total beginner. And about a month later, he's correcting me. <laughs> like, Nathan, try this finger. He's like, no, it should be this. I'm like, okay. So, he's a great job. He's a great job. <laughs> great addition to the orchestra. Great leader. And the upright man on the bass back there, silent but deadly. <laughs> Gabe, you've been, he's just a, a solid rock. I mean, the, the bass is the foundation, the backbone of the orchestra. So he's like a he's like a vein of iron inside a mountain. I mean, he's so solid. You're always right on. Never complains. Never gives me any trouble. He just goes about his business. Puts on his hard hat. Grabs his lunch. He goes to work. Does his job. Just outstanding. And Sarah, again, beautiful. Give her another hand for the beautiful. I mean, she, you couldn't ask for, a, you, you just want a doctor, you just want to be a you know, Maybe sit my children. <laughs> She's just a great influence, and, and she comes out and she works with younger students, and she, she just fits in. She fits in with, with us, with the you know, so older people. She fits in with younger people. She's just, she's, a, she's like a chameleon. She plays violin, she plays viola, she's improved exponentially, going to be going off to college, starting some college courses next year. So she's doing outstanding. And then our other viola player, Kira, the multifaceted dancer, athlete, violist, movie star. Right? Right? Is the, the movie coming out? So what, what is the name of it? The Great Invisible. The Great Invisible. And it's a documentary about the BP oil the spill. BP oil and, spill. The and the family's involved. So what, where could we see that? Hasn't been released yet. There'll be a national release of it, we think, this summer. So, it's at film festivals right now. Okay, film festivals. So, if we want to so secure it. Next within the next year. Within the next year. So, look out for that film in the documentary category. Correct. And the, the film crews came is, and lived in your house? It's a for documentary be released nationally in the theaters that this one will be. Oh, wow. So, we will all watch out for that. And she is just stalwart. She marks her parts, she bows, and she's, a, she's one of those, she's like a conduit. She just adds this incredible poise to, to the orchestra, and I really appreciate having her in the class. Then, my, my, I guess he's my left-hand man over here, Emmanuel, the math whiz and the, the violin genius, incredible player. He's, again, he's one of those that has this, uh, he, I call him the diamond in the rough, but he's a diamond, you know, the size of the moon. And I, I really think he has this incredible potential, most, probably, maybe the most beautiful sound of a, of a student I've ever had, really, truly. So, he's growing in confidence, and he's pretty good with the math, so that's something I could never do. And, and Kate, can you see Kate right there? There's Kate. Kate, so our, you know, our smallest one, but she is, she is so bold and brave, and she's been absolutely fearless, and a tremendously hard worker, and very talented. I can't believe, how old are you? She's nine, and she's been, I think, when did you start, six? Six or seven? She started six, and she just came in here, and she completely undaunted. She should be in that book. What's it called? Divergent? She's, she's undaunted. <laughs> she's going to be in that book. All right? That's what she is. And then my main man over here, Liam Clintock. All right? My very free-spirited, stream-of-consciousness man. I mean, you started, what, you were five? Five years old. 
and just the most free spirit, incredibly creative, an ear that hears, can hear the grass grow, as they say. He's an ear that can, he can hear the clouds move. He's got an ear like that, you know, and he's just a top-notch guy, a very sweet guy, and we had a lot of fun. He's, my gosh, I think you've been here as long as me, just about. Five years, okay. <laughs> so, we've had a great time. So that's your orchestra, and I love you all. You've done a fabulous job this year. Give them one more time. So we take all of those individuals, and we somehow come together and take all our strengths and, and, and uh, hopefully hide our weaknesses and uh, make something come out. So. We're going to send you off with some movie music.